we have in this city a unique opportunity to pray for leaders who are part of this church and leaders who stop in unexpectedly to this church. And so we, we, count it, we count it an honor to be able to pray for any leader in any position, any leader from any party, including our current president. So I want to invite us to do what 1 Timothy chapter 2 says to do. Many of you may have seen that there was a call to, to particularly on this Sunday pray for our president. We don't want to do that just on this Sunday. We want to do that continually, day in and day out. So I want to ask us to bow our heads together now and pray for our president. Oh God, we praise you as the one universal king over all. You are our leader and our Lord and we worship you. There is one God and one savior and it's you and your name is Jesus and we exalt you, Jesus. And we know we need your mercy. We need your grace. We need your help. We need your wisdom in our country. And so we stand right now on behalf of our president and we pray for your grace and your mercy and your wisdom upon him. God, we pray that he would know how much you love him, so much that you sent Jesus to die for his sins, our sins, so we pray that he would look to you, that he would trust in you, that he would lean on you, that he would govern and make decisions in ways that are good for justice and good for righteousness and good for equity, every good path. Lord, we pray, we pray that you would give him all the grace he needs to govern in ways that we just saw in 1 Timothy chapter 2 that lead to peaceful and quiet lives, godly and dignified in every way. God, we pray for your blessing in that way upon his family. We pray that you would give them strength. We pray that you would give them clarity, wisdom, wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Please, oh God, give him wisdom and help him to lead our country alongside other leaders. We pray today for leaders in Congress. We pray for leaders in courts. We pray for leaders at national and state levels. Please, oh God, help us to look to you. Help us to trust in your word. Help us to seek your wisdom and live in ways that reflect your love and your grace, your righteousness and your justice. We pray for your blessings on our president toward that end. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <laughs>